Hello and welcome to another episode of Blastercated Painting. Today we're going to be painting a bounty hunter that is also a slick lizard. Yep. So today we're going to be painting Boss from Atomic Mass Games Star Wars Legion. Uh, I'm pretty excited about this one. He's one of my favorite characters. He has one line of alien dialogue, and apparently that's enough to make uh, an impression on me. So we gave this guy a Zenithal Prime, and the first thing we're going to do is take Imperial Fist. It's one of the new Citadel uh, contrast paints. And we're going to put this all over the entire bodysuit. Next thing we're going to do is take Nasdrag Yellow and Karandras Green. And we're going to mix those two together. We're going to do mostly Nasdrag Yellow with a little bit of the green. And this is going over all these skin, so head, arms, and the lower legs there. And we're going to switch to Bial Red, Bal Red, Bal Red, Bal Red. Doesn't matter. And this is going to go around the cuff of his neck. Here's a YouTube secret about that Bal Red. Uh, I had already painted it and didn't film it. So I'm not actually painting in that last shot. I'm just, it's just a dry brush over the part I already painted. Editing. Then we're gonna switch to Grave Lord Gray. And this is going to go on the, the cuffs around his arm, the straps around his legs, and also the uh, straps around his shoulders. Next, we're going to take some Moon Yellow, and this is going to be for highlighting up that Imperial Fist Yellow. So we're just going to be doing this on the most raised areas of uh, the jumpsuit, flight suit. Jumpsuit, flight suit. I know that uh, when they're filming The Empire Strikes Back, it's just like a flight suit from like the British military. I don't know if they painted it yellow or not. Anyway, it's awesome. I am going to warn you guys right now, uh, I don't know what happened or why, but uh, my head will come into the shots quite a bit for this video. I don't know, I just, I guess I wasn't paying enough attention, but uh, you'll see some obscuring in the corner. That's my uh, massive melon getting in the way of the camera. <laughs> Next, we're moving on to cold gray, and we're going to use this to edge highlight these straps that we put the grave load gray on. Next, we're going to switch to arctic white, and we are going to highlight up all the white spots on that flight suit. It's the irony of using a color called arctic white on a cold-blooded creature it's not lost on me the irony is not lost on me then we're going to switch to hot orange i love hot orange i don't know how many times i have to say it but i love it more than my children no it's not even funny, you're not allowed to, 
You're not allowed to joke that you love hot orange more than your children. Anyway, we're going to use this to highlight up the neck frill. Collar. It's a collar. Why did I say neck frill? It's a collar. Next, we're going to take some grim black, and this is going on the dioxys grenade and the mortar rifle. Next, we're going to take some brassy brass, and this is going to go on his eyeballs. Next, we're going to take some Tenere Yellow, and this is going to go on his teeth. Then we're going to take some Blood Red here, and this is going to go over his eyes. And because I forgot before, we're going to take that Tenere Yellow and it's going to go on his toenails and fingernails. Then we're going to take Gunmetal. This is going to go on the caps around the bandoliers on his legs. And we're also going to dry brush this onto the gun. I will put a link in the description below to the Pike video where you can see how I did the basing for this guy. And he is done. And I am super happy with how he turned out. I really, really like this. Plus, it's such a cool miniature. It's one of my favorite characters. It just works out. I'm really happy with this. Obviously, this miniature's been out for a long time. Have you guys painted this one? If so, let me know how you did it in the comments below. This is one of my favorite characters, and this miniature's awesome. I do know that there's the two poses with him holding the rifle or the grenade, but... I think this is the pose to go with or I should buy a second one and so then I can have both poses because my kids don't have to eat <laughs> either way thank you guys so much for watching please like share subscribe all that stuff and have a great day next we're gonna say take say 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 Gah. Next, we're going to take some Grin Black, and this is Grin. Grin Black. Grim Black. Grin Black. Can't even say words. And we're going to switch to Cold Gray, and we are going to use this to add some edge highlighting on the uh, Gravelord Gray that we already did. I'd like to redo that because it sounded like uh, trash.